Hi everyone, so I'm going to start out with a eyeshadow base and I'm going to put it up here. Okay, for some reason it's showing up really dramatic, but it's actually a pretty soft look and you'll see when you see the colors. Okay, so, so then what I'm going to do is take um, this cream uh, eyeshadow and put that all over my eyelid and it's okay if it's messy. Silent night, holy night, all is cold, all is bright. And I'm using these... So I'm gonna start. This is start out by taking a white and a dark blue, one of these two, and kind of putting that all over my eye. And the dark blues look harsh, but it really does not turn out that way because of the white. So. Let's go. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow. But I'ma be under the mistletoe. Okay, and next what you're going to do is take a dark blue, this one, and I'm just going to put that in the outer corner, kind of. Santa's coming, girl! Woo. And now I'm going to take, I'm going to use my finger, or first I'm going to use this um, brush for smudging, but I'm going to use it for this. And I'm going to take that white, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner, but work it out a little bit more too. This is where the cream base really helps. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay. One more thing. Okay, and so for this kind of eye dramatic look, I'm gonna set it on top of this so that I can see. I'm for eyeliner. I'm using this pencil one. Any works fine, actually. This is by. Um, Wet and Wild. Oh, one more thing for eyeshadow is a highlighter, so I'm just going to take that white again, highlight my brow bone lightly. I already did it on my lip. So, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to kind of wing it out, too. And I would not recommend wringing it out when you have it stretched out because it kind of messes it up. So I'm just going to. And um, I'm going to line my lower lap. I mean. Waterline. Oops. Got a little bit down there on accident. So, I wouldn't recommend aligning your lower lash line because it kind of 
just the look to your lower lash line instead of the eyeshadow. Okay, and then I'm going to take any mascara and just like put some of that on. Okay, hold on. Alright, so for blush, what I'm going to do is take my little blush brush and I'm just going to take this a kind of a mix between this lightest pink and this medium color pink. And since this look is a little more elegant, go up to my apples or temples okay and for lips I'm going to take my lips pink lip stain and just Put this all over. And then, for a wintry touch, I'm going to take this um, XXL Shine thing from Ulta, and it's just a very silvery color, and put that on my lips as well. Okay. Okay. And so an optional step that I would think would look really cute, I'll put a little bit on, is this glitter. It's from Claire's and it's glitter for wherever. Now this glitter is insanely messy. So I'm just going to take finger and just put it right here I think it gives the look kind of a twinkly snow look if you know what I'm talking about That's the finished look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really like this. It's a little dramatic for me, but I think it looks beautiful.